What you do? Package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about this 3-in-1 Epega, let's say multi-platform controller. We can use this for iOS, Androids, PC, and that seems to be for the PlayStation 3. So that's pretty cool and wireless controller. All right, I picked it up. I just wanted to show you what are we going to get. Very curious. Um, in this video, I'm just going to test it out on Android. I just wanted to see how it's working with a telephone. And uh, yeah, let's see how it plays. Is it, a little, is it a good controller or is it just a horrible fake Chinese product? Let's find out. And let's unbox. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. And we don't know because the sticker is still on. Oh, I love those stickers. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to grab my scissor, I just want to do a little bit of an unboxing. Get over here. Ugh. Whoa, this thing is pretty huge. Hey, look what we have here. Ooh. In Chinese Deluxe Paper Manual. With some basic explanation how to use it. Okay. How do I get it out of plastic? This is the way. It comes with a micro USB controller for charging up. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is, is it me or does this thing look like a PlayStation 4 controller? Yeah, it does. Well, it feels quite heavy. Got this rubber grip over here. Ooh, this feels really nice. Okay, we have some protection plastic over here. D-pad feels very nice. Two analog sticks over here. Okay, new IK. Oh, I'm guessing this is more for connecting. No, I didn't read the manual. I'm just finding it out for myself. Turbo, start select. Okay, we can unplug it like this. Oh, we have a home button over here. Aha, here's the dongle. Yeah. All right, that's very good that you have it. can store it over here. Ooh, the spring is very tight. All right, so this is what you're going to get. You can use it like a regular controller. I'm very curious how this thing is going to play because it feels very nice. All right, let's grab my Samsung controller. Yeah, let's grab my Samsung telephone and let's see. All right, if you want to connect with Android, uh, you need to hold the home button in combination with the Android. And if everything goes right, you see the PG9. Oh, seven, six. I connected, everything worked like a charm, and uh, yeah, we're going to test out some games. Let's hook it up to the controller itself. Very curious how this thing is going to play. All right, let's play a little bit of Raspberry Good. But I've noticed that the A button is a little bit sticky. I think you can even hear it on the, on, on the video. So the grip is very nice, in combination with the telephone, this thing feels quite heavy. It's glitching out. <laughs> Hmm. So besides the A button sticking, it works like a charm. I really love the, gl the grip of the controller. It feels very comfortable.
The D-pad is perfect for fighting games. Alright, so for the final conclusion regarding this controller, so if you want to use it like a controller in combination with Bluetooth and your telephone, it's pretty cool. It looks pretty nice and it works fine. Um, the controller itself, it depends a little bit what kind of games you play, but if you want to play some emulation, retro gaming or PUBG, hmm, not bad at all, you have two analog stick and it's really comfortable. The controller itself in combination with the telephone, I already mentioned in the video, is quite heavy. So, but here comes the other part. If you want to pull out the dongle and go, whoa, this is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I stick it in my PC. Um, there's a little bit of problem connecting it. So that's a little bit of a bummer. It doesn't work on the PlayStation 4. So it's really for the old, let's say old, um, old systems like the PlayStation 3. And then there's a the question, are you still waiting for something like this? If you want to use it for your phone, it's fine. But if you want to connect it to your PlayStation, all those combinations with holding the select button with the home, or it's a little bit messy. Okay, you need to get used to it, but this is what you're going to get. The control itself, it feels like a really nice quality controller, but I already noticed this sticky A button. Maybe this is only this model I have, but if you grab a controller out of the box and you're having this, it's a quality control, my ass. So yeah, that concludes this video. But well, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. Oh, and if you like gaming, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. We have a lot of stuff going on there. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.